Okay, now let's go to fundamental theorem of calculus. Okay, so we know that the basic format of the fundamental theorem of calculus, which we're going to apply to vectors, that's why we have fundamental theorem of gradients, uh, divergences, and curves, is this. The integral of a derivative, this derivative can be of, uh, can be in terms of gradient, divergence, or curve. Over some region, this can be, uh, this can be the region of a line, it can be a region of a surface, or it can be a region of a volume. It's given by the value of the function at the endpoints, which are the boundaries. So if we have a line, so for example, let's say we have a line. Okay. If this is the region, the endpoints that we're talking about here are the these points. Okay, now let's say if we have a surface. Okay, now the boundary of this surface would be the edge of the surface. And lastly, the if we have a surface. Uh, if we have a volume, for example, like this, that is your region, the boundaries will be, will be the surface. Okay, so when we take the integral of the derivative over these regions, that's the same as just getting the value of the function where that you did, that you differentiated at the endpoints. Okay, now in the fundamental of theory of calculus, just to give you a review, remember that when we, uh, if we have a function, let's say we have a function f, let's say it is a function of x. Okay, now remember that the derivative of this function would be derivative of x with respect to x. Now, as mentioned here, the integral of this derivative. So the integral of this derivative, okay, is just the same as well, between two points A and B. This A and B are the endpoints. This is the derivative, okay. This tells us your region. If this is only dx, so this is one dimension, okay. This is equal to the function itself at the endpoints. Okay, and that this is precisely what do we do when we integrate, right? For example, if we have the integral of sine x dx, let's say from a to b, okay, we know that sine x y is actually the derivative with respect to x of cosine x negative, right? Or the derivative of negative cosine x. So that means this function here is cosine x negative. So when we integrate this, this is actually negative cosine x. And then we evaluate it from a to b. That is precisely the fundamental theorem of calculus. That's the basic uh, theorem that we use whenever we do integration. Okay?